Hello friends, I hope you're well. In this tutorial, we're going to run through a way you can find low cap tokens just before they pump. So basically you're going to get in before and we're going to use deck screener and some filters to actually find it. So typically when you load up deck screener, most people are attracted to these boost type tokens and it's defaulted to have the trending tab. I think in personally, that's one of the worst tabs to have because trending just means either there's it's very volatile in price and they've paid to be there. So technically these aren't actually trending, it's not organic. So what we want is another filter. So I tend to use the volume filter and I tend to go into radium, click volume. And then what we want is the five minute because you can have the 24 hour just to see what's happening in a day. But really and truly what we want is the volume tab. And these will probably pick you up some good uh, tokens. I typically have, in order to find low cap gems is what we're looking for, I have under a one mil market cap as a filter in terms of market cap. I apply that and we should get some decent tokens here. So we can open up everything that's had um, I don't typically open these because they tend to be scams. But we'll open these up and we'll have a look. And we'll see. Some of these you might catch uh, if they're just newly pump fund ones. You can have a look. But this gives you a nice quality of... I don't know how to say it. Gives you a nice quality of tokens to look at. So what's just launched? These are obviously very high risk. This might even be a total rug, a scam. So always check the holders quickly that's quite a lot i would say that's basically it could be the same person having 20 percent. i would avoid that one and it looks very unnatural you know like a massive one minute candle pump and then it pumps again no one sells so that's obviously someone that holds a lot of supply probably bundled i would avoid that one this one as well let's put in the five minute again it looks bundled and then it didn't dip and it's not dipped again I could be wrong but you'd want to have a look and actually see repository analyzer so you can put a repo and you can actually see if something that's pretty decent but I think I've seen one like that so this could just be mm, nothing special but a low cap in, in the grand scheme of things again let's have a look at this one I tend to look at a website and then, and then a Twitter afterwards come up with an AI dog, AI, AI. I don't know what it does. These Some of these websites are so bad at explaining. Anyway, that looked okay. That's something you could put a limit order on. And Zebros. Let's have a look. It would be called QCoin. There's probably been a bunch of Q coins, um, depending on this launch today. When was that tweet out? Fifth. Okay, not bad. Uh, Zebros is a really nice coin. I really like that coin. So this could be something to watch. So it's understanding the narrative. Um, this looks like was it a pump fund? Of course it was. Mm, doesn't look. Doesn't look great, doesn't look terrible, but all it's got is the first AI agent on X. Like, no one cares, really. That's my analysis on it. Yeah, nothing special. Again, this one, Hello World. Of course, if you're into programming, you know what that is. That's the first line of code everyone types or string. I mean, this could be like a little flip, but it's too risky to buy, you know, with... The holder spread is really good though. So you kind of want to look for stuff like this where, I mean, it's a low market cap. So, but it seems like this actually is a not concentrated supplier to one person or the development team. Have they got any utility? Is there anything there? Why would I connect my wallet to that? Do you know? Let's check the Twitter and see if it's giving us any info. Nothing. So I wouldn't buy just based on it's it's completely dead. Chill Pepe. Nice little meme. Now that the memes always depend on basically the community. And again, I always check holders just to see what's happening. That's kind of what you want. So you see this is a one percent, and there was another one we looked at where it was like four, 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 three, three. You kind of want like this. So the devs obviously bundled 
uh, the the previous one. So just a quick glance at it. You don't have to use a scanner or anything. You can kind of see. So even if you think this token's safe, always check so you can have a comparison. And if this one rugs, you can kind of see, okay, what was the hold account like? Five mil volume, really good. Um, 16th trending, this is okay. But you want a better entry. You want a 200, 300 on this. Believe me, Trust me, the rule I use is if I like that market cap half it and put your limit orders there or get ready to buy there or put 5 or 10% in. So if you buy 10% of what you want to buy, if you want to buy one Solana and you buy 0 0.1 now, trust me, when it falls, you'll thank yourself later. So this is, we found some things here. I mean, I wouldn't personally buy any of these. Possibly I may follow along this one um i always look for dips like i always say wait and this is like that seems like the resistance but more people are coming in it could be spreading so i wouldn't fomo into that i would dca in if i was this one i didn't know what it does does it write it the first dog created by artificial intelligence maybe good people might like it i mean i like all of these to be honest like even this one Zeri's Bros coin. Yeah, that's running now. So you can see the, none of these are really like crap. This one I don't really like, but from where we saw it earlier, it kind of like had a little run up. Just this one I don't like. I don't know what it is. Uh, even Chill Pepe I like. I think one of these might run. Maybe this one. But again, it's lower than the others. The others are 600. So, look, this is a good way to find. Remember the filters and have a look. Don't buy random ones at the top, like uh, 700k volume on a Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon with a chart looking like it's uh, just flying up. I mean, I would avoid these ones where it's holding well. You can tell there's a volume button on it. Look, every second is the same second uh, for these. So they're just trying to attract people in. And then obviously, they're going to dump a lot of supply on that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. All the best and take care.